There are also all of these informal aspects of a conference where like we had a gathering of all of the women at the conference um, last night and it was really nice and I made some new friends. Um, so that's the kind of stuff that you would miss if you weren't in person. Hey, I'm uh, Griswold Brooks, and I build robots. So C++23 uh, introduced uh, a new library type called uh, MDSpan. So typically, the way I used to think of MDSpan as a view, right, into a piece of contiguous data. So uh, in the use case that someone like me, robotics would have, I typically have a robot and needs a map of the world, kind of like the thing that you see in there, right, where the laser goes around and like puts little occupancies in a cell. So I might want to say allocate that as like a contiguous array of data and then use an MD span in order to view into that data as a 2D kind of XY coordinate system so that I can get things from my laser and update my map. But I come to find out that MD span is much, much more powerful than that. So not only does it allow you to specify the type of data that you might be referring to, not only does it allow you to refer to the extents, the dimensions, the kind of like the shape of your data, whether it's one by N or three by three or something like that, it also gives you two policy injection points, one of them being the layout, kind of like how you think about arranging your data, and the last one being the accessor. The layout is kind of like really interesting to me because like I might think about like, uh, trying to like iterate through something in my map and maybe I've got my robot and its footprint and I want to just like look at a little view and do a little polygonal, you know, filling out of occupancy. So that's really cool. But the last one is also pretty interesting. Uh, so it allows you to specify how you access your data. So there's this perennial problem with roboticists is that we can never have enough beer. So I don't know if you've ever watched enough uh, robotics talks, they're always like making a robot go and fetch some beer. But honestly, you can't go and get a beer unless you know if you have some beer. So I thought, why not I build a robot that checks to see uh, if I have any beer? So I wrote an accessor policy. Uh, the accessor policy, instead of actually viewing into a particular contiguous array of data, actually communicates with my robot arm for, via a serial port. I showed this to uh, Daisy Holman. And she got a hold of me and said, no, no, there's a much cleaner way to do this. So she took my access policy and shrunk it down so that I could get a uh, stood future, uh, send the command to have the robot travel to a particular uh, beer. And then instead of doing my bounds checking in the accessor, she wrote me a um, uh, fold expression so that at compile time, we could come up with the expression to check to see if the beer, uh, if I was trying to access a bin that didn't have a beer. So with that, it allows me to uh, connect to the robot arm, uh, create a view for my beer, tell the robot to go check all the beer bins, and then once it's done, then print out the state of uh, you know, my beer. This is very important. So I mean, we can see this, but now, right now, the robot is iterating through all the all the beers. It has a little sensor on it. It's checking to see if there's any beers there. Now I'll never run out of beer. Thank you.